So the reason why I'm so intrigued to play Assassin's Creed is it it goes back into history, right? I love history. It's sad that history isn't really valued anymore, especially here in America. And when I was going to school, history was like 10% of the curriculum. It was really bad. As long as you could read, write, and do math, that's all people cared about. This might be really cliche, but I feel like you need to learn the mistakes in the past to build a better future. So I feel like history should be valued. You should be wanting to see what other people before you have done, whether it was good or bad, right? It doesn't matter. I feel like you should learn it all. Anyways, I want to check out all of the cinematic trailers today. Assassin's Creed seems like it's a great series to get into. I'm seeing a lot of hype about Assassin's Creed, especially recently with Mirage being shown. So I'm excited. With that being said, hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video, I would truly appreciate it. Let's just jump right into the reaction. Let's check out these Assassin's Creed games. Here we are, everyone. All cinematic CGI trailers for Assassin's Creed starting from 2007, working our way to 2022. Assassin's Creed Mirage, I think, is the latest game in that was shown last year so assassin's creed 2007 let's do it the very first game that's the old school ubisoft intro i remember booting up like far cry two or three um prince of persia splinter cell and hearing that that's very nostalgic for me i loved ubisoft games back in the day they've kind of fallen off for me recently though Oh my God, I'm already seeing it, dude. The graphics. First of all, this is the era of gaming that I didn't like the graphics at all. Most of the games had a brown or gray filter on them. I thought it was ugly. I know that games like Uncharted 2 and Far Cry 3 were games that wowed me though. Those games actually had some color to them. So I couldn't wait until the PS4 and Xbox One era because once we got to those consoles, every game was saturated and had tons of color and I appreciated it so much. But... I'm not going to hate about the gray. The gray actually looks good here. Oh my God. These people hanging. Look at the eagle. So this game, from what I know, takes place in the Crusades. So that's the Holy War. So we're in the Holy Land, which is like Syria, Israel, and uh, Palestine. Palestine. Check out the assassin though. That outfit's dope. Oh, that was kind of cool. That's a crossbow. Oh my God. He's just pushing people out of the way, huh? Why are they publicly executing people like that? Oh, the blade. Ooh. Yikes. Oh, what's up with that hand gesture right there? Why did he run his hand across the guy's face all the way down to his chest? Is he praying? Whoa. He's fast. The way he jumped on that guy, though. See, Assassin's Creed made parkour cool, in my opinion. This is the first game that I was introduced to parkour. Like, I remember seeing my friends play this game and being wowed by it. Oh, he blended in there. You saw that. Wait, are these all like, uh, like church people? Just blended right in. Look at that. Disappeared. Gone. Look, the guards are looking for him. They can't find him. He's right there. He snuck past him somehow. This dude is magic. So the eagle does have some significance, right? Because they showed the eagle a few times. 1486, Venice, Italy. That's during the Renaissance era? Bro, I hope Leonardo da Vinci is in this game. I hope you actually get to meet him. That'd be freaking cool. I think that's what's cool about Assassin's Creed. You actually get to meet historic figures. Like, I think that's awesome. Look at the fashion. Now this one's not great like the last one. 
you know, maybe that's because of the art direction. Maybe they wanted that game to have a gray filter just because it takes place in, uh, you know, the Crusades or whatever. Maybe they just thought it looked cool. Hit the theme. Don't get distracted now. I know those ladies are pretty. Uh-oh. Now, I think this is Assassin's Creed 2. So Ezio is the protag. Oh my God. In the crowd like that? That, that is sending a message for sure. Yo, he's cool, man. The attire looks different too. Wow, he's actually fighting people compared to the last assassin. He just ran away. Where did he learn how to fight like that though? Now you better be able to swim in this game. There is water. Those guards, they ain't stopping him. To the entrance. Don't let him see you. Wait for my command. Oh, he's going to try to ambush him. Like he didn't hear him. How did you not break your legs? What an impressive display. A pity you could not let your father live to see it. Oh? Once I've dealt with you, I promise I'll give her my full attention. Whoa! Oh, he's got a gun on his wrist? Jeez. How'd he get that? That's some cool tech. Now, he did mention that Ezio's father is dead. So what happened there? It seemed like he was taunting him. So did this guy kill Ezio's father? Was this like a revenge mission? Is this whole game a big revenge plot? Because that would be really cool. And why or how did Ezio become an assassin? Was that because of his father dying? I got questions. I got a lot of questions. Let's check out the necklace. Well, they zoomed in on that, so that's obviously important. Now we're in Rome, 1503. Rome is beautiful. I actually want to go here. That guy looks Spanish. What's up with the red? Is this during the, uh, the Inquisition? Spanish Inquisition? Yeah, two hidden blades. That was dope. I didn't know you can get two. Hold on, I had to go back a little bit because I feel like I missed something. Hold on. Oh, look at this. These guys got hit with arrows. So does he have other assassins? Is there people working with him? Brave of you to stand alone against me, but also quite foolish, assassin. 
Check out the eagle. Oh, yep. Yeah. He's definitely got a team. Did you see that slight head nod? He sees the eagle, nods at it, sends in the arrows. That's cool. So wait, do the assassins also use eagles to communicate? You know what I mean? Like, can they see through eagles or something like that? Like, how does that work? What's going on with that? Because he nodded at the eagle and then the arrows came in. This is interesting. That guy's gonna fight? Okay then. Oh, there it is, the crew. Where'd y'all come from? Brotherhood. So Ezio's in that game. Was that a spinoff game? They had spinoff games off of the second Assassin's Creed? I didn't know that. Why? Who is this? Oh, I think there's no music because it's copyrighted. Where are we here? Oh, check out that logo. Look at this. What is that? It's not the Assassin's It's not the Yeah, here it is right here. That's the Assassin's logo. The Assassins captured him? Why would they do that? Oh, he was on a journey, whoever this is. Is this still Ezio? The attire is different again. He keeps changing his attire. I think this might be the coolest attire though. I like the black. They got shot. Oh, he's gonna get ambushed, huh? Yep. He's all by himself now. What happened to the Brotherhood? He recruited, he recruited all those people before, right? Oh my God, he's even more agile now. Look at him. His combat done improved. Look at this. Woo. Oh, that's insane. He just snapped that guy's neck. Is there blood like that in the game? Oh, there it is. Dual blades. Those are cool. Who's that? Is that the assassin from the first game? Why is his spirit here? It's interesting. Are his ancestors trying to tell him something? It got him caught, which isn't good. Who is this guy? Where even are we? There's the spirit again of his ancestor. It's telling him something. And there's a hawk, uh, eagle. I, was, I almost said hawk. It's like his hood off. Oh no, don't do that. That was so weird. Revelations. Okay, so the dictionary definition of a revelation is a surprising and previously unknown fact, especially one that is made known in a dramatic way. So he was he was voyaging somewhere, right? And you see his ancestor pop up. The character from the first game's right here. And he went far. Ezio seemed to go really far. Is this where it all started? Did he go back to where it all started? That's the revelation. So is he gonna find out what the creed was really about? So that that raises my question is, why did he go into the creed? 
And here's the thing, is the Creed good? Because why are these guys here? So we're back in Syria then. So that would be the Ottoman. So this has got to be the uh, uh, the times during like the Ottoman Empire, right? What the heck happened? Why are you back here? Are you trying to find out what the assassins are all about? Was he lied to about the assassins? Because he doesn't have his brotherhood anymore. So he recruited all these people. So, okay, okay, let's start from the, uh, the second game, right? He joins the assassins from what we know. And then the second game, he recruits people into the creed, right? And then now in the third game, all those people are gone. He's, he's alone. He's going back to where it all started. So was he lied to? Was he lied to in some way? And now he's trying to find the truth, what the assassins are actually about. Are the assassins like all kinds of cults and organizations around the world where maybe originally they had like a really good message to them, but... You know, as that organization changes leadership, that original message or meaning starts to get a little blurry, right? I don't know, but that's interesting. So that means this game is going to drop a lot of bombs. That's really cool. I like that. Sorry if I'm talking too much. I'm actually really intrigued. I'm invested. I like this. This is cool. I like history, so... Oh! This is the game that I really wanted to play. Which Assassin's Creed is this? Three. This is Assassin's Creed 3. It is set in the Revolutionary War. Oh my god, I've always wanted to play a really good game set in this era, man. Oh. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh, we're gonna see George Washington! My boy Ben! My boy Ben! Thomas Jefferson! The four five, Look at the American Bald Eagle! Look at the Brits. I watched them fight and die in the name of freedom. Oops. They speak of liberty and justice, but for who? He said for who? Not for the Native Americans, right? <laughs> Not for the slaves, right? Not for the Africans. That's a good question. For who? He's moving through the trees. What? Came out of nowhere. This guy's kind of cool. He just stole a horse. Wait, what the heck? Whoa, he's using the horse's cover. RIP horse. He's just running in the field in the open. What? <laughs> Bro. I don't know what's going on with this guy compared to the other assassins like Ezio and then the, the guy from the first game. I don't know his name. Dude, this guy right here is just nuts, man. He's going right in. He's not tactful like they were, right? It seems like he has like a personal vendetta against the Brits or something. What did they do to him? Jeez. <laughs> it's like they stole his lunch money. Look at this. He's wiping out lines of them. You know, also, guerrilla warfare was used in the final years of the Revolutionary War, which, which was said, said to be learned from the uh, Native Americans, right? Not, not saying that the Native Americans invented guerrilla warfare, because they didn't, but they did use it in past wars before, right? So the Americans ended up using it to beat the Brits. Bro, he's got a tomahawk. Bro, he's got a tomahawk. That's cool. What? Does he know him though? He's looking like he does. Huh? Maybe that's his mission. He's got a bow and arrow. Jeez. Okay, wait. Tomahawk, bow and arrow. This guy's got to be native. He's got to be one of my people, bro. He's got to be Native American. And then he said something about for who? For who? Yeah, wh who is the freedom for? Because it's not for my people. You know what I mean? Chickasaw, by the way. But yeah, not for my people. He's right. For who? He's got a tomahawk. Oh, there's that necklace. Again. It's my boy. It's the man, the myth, the legend, George Washington.
At least it looks like him. Pretty sure it is. That would make sense. He's watching him. He's learning. He's learning. Guerrilla warfare. So are you going to work with George Washington? Insurrection is the most sacred of the rights and the most indispensable of duties. So he's Native American, though. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Our right to freedom, our land, and our way of life. Look at that. From the trees. We will die for what we believe in. Is this the Constitution? Like, are, is, are these, like, lines from the Constitution? We cannot be stopped. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. Yeah, he's working with George. It's not a life worth that Tomox, dope. Give us liberty or give us death. Well, I don't see why would a Native American help the Americans? Why would he help any of them? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the part I'm not getting. All right, who is this? Have you ever? been disrespected bro Forced. this is the game i had i had this freaking game and i couldn't play it because my pc was unop it was it was unoptimized it was trash when this game came out i heard it had so many bugs i heard this game was absolute garbage when it came to performance that is nowadays you should be able to play the game and i hear that it's one of the best if not the best Assassin's Creed game in the entire series. So I want to check this one out the most. I'm really hyped for three and four. Actually, honestly, all of them pretty much like Assassin's Creed two all the way. Cause now that I know about revelations and brotherhood, I'm really excited about those. And then three, three seems really freaking interesting. Cause I love the revolutionary war. I think that's really cool. And on top of that, it might be a, hey, it's kind of me being biased, but if homeboy really is native American, you know, I got to be there. You know, I got to be there. I got to support. I got to support. To follow orders. I gotta support. This is about pirates, though. Would you rather defy your masters and live by the creed of Was that Blackbeard? Y'all saw that? Masters. Is that Blackbeard right there? You see him? <laughs> is that Blackbeard or am I just tripping? And live by the creed of Are you gonna work with Blackbeard in this? Are you ready to fight for the freedom to act as you wish? Oh, he's a ladies man. I see. Calling all men of fortune, willing to pledge allegiance to no one. Calling all who are ready to defy. Assassin's Creed 4. Okay, so he's going against the assassin code. Like, did you see? He didn't even have his hood on here. He had his hood off, right? I mean, we saw Ezio with his hood off, but that was different. He was His hood was forced to be off. They took it off of his head. This guy's just walking around, killing people, jumping on boats, slapping people, you know, screwing girls. This guy is literally defying the, the creed. What's happening here? Did he find something out? Did Ezio find something out? What did Ezio find out in Revelations? Black flag. So this guy is kind of like, he's like the new creed. He's gonna be, he's gonna set the standard. Maybe he's gonna take it back to what the original message was. Maybe he's gonna be for the people. You know what I mean? It's all about freedom. It's all about like what they say and believe, right? What what they think is right. What this guy, the, the, the main protagonist of this game thinks is right. That's what the creed's gonna be about. He was talking about defying. Oh, we're in the bar now. Okay. What's, what's super cool about this game? Hold on. We got to talk about this. So this game takes place in the West Indies, right? Which is the Caribbean, the Bahamas. You have Cuba. You have Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominican Republic. You have Barbados. You have Trinidad. There, there's so many 
like little islands and stuff in the West Indies, right? What people don't talk about very much, what we weren't really taught that much in high school or in middle school is the slave trade that was going on in the Caribbean, right? The, the Spanish were over there colonizing as they do, right? They're the Spaniards enslaving the black people who inhabit those islands, right? <laughs> so that's really cool to see, you know, a black guy right here. I'm pretty sure that's going to be uh, a, something that they really talk about in this game, right? We're actually going to get some representation of what happened in the Caribbean because we always talk about the African slave, slaves, right? And the slave trade from Africa to America. But the Spanish were taking black people from the Caribbean and selling them to America. And that's how my family got here, right? I have a lot of like Cuban, Puerto Rican family members. And, you know, my, my mom has recently traced our lineage back. And apparently we came from the Caribbean. I think that's why so many people get upset when they hear African-American because just because you see a black person doesn't mean they're from Africa. Does that make sense? So. Uh-oh, what's going to happen here? Spaniards coming in here. Messing things up. <laughs> Look at this guy, man. I love this big black guy. It's cool. Oh, he's about to smash some heads. Oh, that's awesome. They're just bar fighting. He caught the bottle. <laughs> this guy is so cool. Took his hood off. I like that guy's uh, attire, though. Looked very nice. But he's dead now. So, I wonder if this assassin is going to save some of the slaves. Because it seems like he's against what the Spanish are doing, right? I bet that black guy was a slave and he probably saved him. And now he joined his crew. Oh, nice. The cannons are really cool. I'm excited for the ship combat. That's going to be a lot of fun. Look at this. They're boarding. Bro, this is so cool. Tell me this isn't what you wanted. A cool pirate game. Come on, man. That was cold. Double pistols? This guy's insane. Oh, caught him slipping. Oh, there's the blade. Oh, that's the worst way to go out. Jeez, that was pretty brutal. Oh, what is that? What the heck is that? A cube of what? So what is he finding out here? Is that just treasure? Defy the crowd, defy empires. I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. Oh, it is Blackbeard. Me, can this new cap cool. promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure. Aye. For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he ranks amongst the most clever. There was a time when I thought myself the 
deadliest scourge of these seas. Okay. But this man. Blackbeard's hyping him up. Dog, the fiends of trouble and turmoil. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon like it were nothing. Jeez. Fighting like a devil, dressed as a man. Whoa. Dual blades? Knows his way around every crag and crevice of these islands. Oh, my man doesn't discriminate. Ah! And Captain Edward Kenway's your man. Only don't meddle in his private affairs. For there's more mystery of that man than even I dare ask. Okay, so where did this guy come from then? Okay, so is are we still following the ancestry line of Ezio and then whoever this last guy was, the Native American guy, and then the first game? Hey, like, is this the same ancestry? Because this is weird. This man will stab you in the back and take your girl. Oh. Bro, they basically just showed how savage he is. That game looks so fun, dude. I can't wait to play that game. That's going to be a good one. I reach the end of the trail. The air is still. And I am a hunter. The hunt has led me to the forgotten edges of this world. Seasons pass, drawing me deeper into the darkness. Where I have found the truth. You found the truth? Hold on. My redemption is found in ashes that i must burn away the past to set things right wait hold on he said he needs to burn the past to set things right so is this the guy that is changing the creed not the guy in the last one what was his name edward not edward it's gonna be this guy assassin's creed rogue whoa or maybe both of them do Maybe he knows Edward. Wait, where are they though? Once Hold on, ice. Are they in the like North Atlantic? Like uh, Canada? Like oh, over there? The far east of Canada? Once an assassin, now their pursuer. I must destroy those who I once called brother. He was... The air is still. And I am a hunter. What? I want to pause so bad. Bro, so you're hunting the assassins. So yeah, the assassins did lose their way. But when? When did they lose their way? Oh my goodness. And I wonder if Ezio found that out in Revelations. And then what about the guy in Assassin's Creed 3? I don't know, man. We're starting off with the eagle this time. This is intriguing as heck. Notre Dame. We're in Paris, guys. The French Revolution. Dude, imagine if we get to meet Napoleon. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be super awesome. Hey, speaking of the French Revolution, uh, I saw the Marie Antoinette, uh, what was it, TV show or movie? No, I think it was a TV show. And that was a pretty good TV show for the most part. It reminded me kind of of Bridgerton. And I, I want to say this real quick. The fashion in that show, and not just in that show, but in that era in general. God, the fashion in France is beautiful, man. Oh, the things that they were wearing. I was, I was so jealous, man. I was so jealous. Imagine if you were royalty back then. You, you had some good clothing, let me tell you. But it was an interesting show because all they did on the show was Marie Antoinette just sat in her castle. She had orgies. She ate pastries. And yeah, that was it. And then she had like a lesbian storyline, which kind of made me scratch my head because I was like, wait, Marie Antoinette was not lesbian from what I've read. I was like, I don't think 
I read anything about her being a lesbian, but I mean, there's nothing saying that she wasn't either, but I'm just saying like, I, I don't know why they added that in. It, it was, it was weird. It was definitely weird, but I liked the show other than that. It was a good show, but Marie Antoinette is, uh, is the queen that got the guillotine. Yeah, she got her head chopped off. Not fun for her. It was a good show though. Oh, this is Lord. This is that Hunger Games song. I might have to mute this. This is going to be heavy copyright. I'm sorry, guys. They captured Paris in this era beautifully. Looks so good. Sheesh. Oh, they're storming right now. Look at that. The people. Are you fighting with the people in this? Oh, my God. Yes, we are fighting for the people. Oh, that's awesome. They're working together. What's this game called? Unity. This is actually the perfect era, like the perfect time to have like a unity theme, right? Because this is when people are working together to overtake royalty, right? To, to overthrow the kingdom. So this is the perfect uh, subtitle for this era of uh, Assassin's Creed. I love it. Shows you how powerful people are when they work together. Who is this guy? It's a random general. Why'd they let him go? Oh, they let the people take care of them. <laughs> okay. As they should. As they should. They said, this isn't our fight. This is their fight. I like that. That was cool. That's a good trailer. This morning, I was just a drop. Oh, a single drop. Song's cool. A oh, look at the parkour. Dude, the parkour mechanics better be fire in this game. In this river, hope was born. Is this still unity? From this hope rose a raging flood. If you watched the Marie Antoinette show, you, you saw what that guy was doing? Bro, the whole show is that, bro. <laughs> Tidal wave. The whole Change. show is that. And if anyone stands against that tide, tonight we will become a revolution. That was cool. Oh, the guillotine. It's time. How many trailers did Unity have? Jeez. The marketing for this game was insane. What's about to happen? Whose head's about to get chopped off? Somebody important? I 
don't know who that is. But look how beautiful Paris looks, though. I'm still admiring it. Check out the... This actually looks like parkour now. This looks cool. It better look like that in the game. This sounds like a Coldplay song. <laughs> Here he goes. It's going in. Whoa, you saw how he spent the gun? He's trying to save whoever that is. Is that his daughter or something? He looks kind of young. Oh, wait, no. We know about that necklace. Bro. But all the bad people had the, that necklace. Right? Isn't that Templar? Huh. I have some questions for that game, too. Is this during reconstruction? What is this? Another one? What's down there? Whoa, a lot of rats. Oh, isn't, isn't this like a famous thing in uh, Paris? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Is it called like the, the crypt or something? Hold on. Oh, it's the Paris catacombs. Here it is. Yeah, this is a popular, a popular um, a, a place to go to if you ever go to Paris. Um, somebody died down here recently. Like I would have to say in the last like 10 or 20 years. Cause I think he like tried to explore this, the catacombs and he tried to document it and couldn't, couldn't get out. He went in there, he got too far in and never came back. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's spooky. A lot of ghost hunters like to go down there. I don't know why, man. I don't play with that stuff. And we got magic. Yeah, I don't play with that kind of stuff, man. Mm -mm. I'll let y'all have that. So what's going on in the catacombs? What's hidden down here? Oh, this is... Fate brought me here for a reason. DLC. Time I let go of the past and took a leap of faith. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I will buy that DLC. China, 1526. The Ming Dynasty crumbles. Huh? Why are we in China all of a sudden? Until you have experienced the thirst. For what is this? There's an Assassin's Creed game that's 2D and in China. What did this release? The graphics don't look next gen. I love the aesthetic though. India. No! No! I need an actual Indian Assassin's Creed game, a 3D one. I want to go around India. For real. Not a 2D game. Oh, uh, heck nah. They. Nah, bro. This has so much potential. Russia? Oh my goodness, a Russian assassin would be so cool. Save it for later games. Why did they do this? Oh, that's dope. That's actually kind of cool. You have a gun and all? That's kind of cool. I'm not even going to front. The gameplay looks kind of whack, though. I don't like the idea of this. 
So you're three different assassins. And there's three different uh, campaigns that you go through. That's kind of cool. Assassin's Creed Chronicles, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Was that Big Ben? Hold on. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> That's awesome. So we're in London. Where I will say the Victorian era is one of my favorite eras when it comes to fashion. I absolutely love it. So awesome. Devil's Acre. Hey, look at that. Look at the hats, the jackets. The clothing, the clothing is just on point, man. So cool. The fun never stops. The ties. You know, they captured it pretty nicely in this game, too. They got like 30 layers of clothing on. So this assassin's working with the people too. Oh, what the heck? We're jumping on carriages? Now that's cool. I didn't expect that. They captured London really nicely. Look at the roads, the cobblestone roads. Oh, I can't believe we're high speed chasing in a ho horse and carriage. <laughs> it's funny. He has a grappling hook. Why? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That sounds stupid. Unless they nerfed it where it makes sense. I think that's stupid. It takes away parkour. That's the whole point of Assassin's Creed. I want to scale buildings, not just grapple hook like I'm freaking Batman. That's dumb. That defeats the whole purpose of Assassin's Creed. I'll, I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut until I play the game, but I don't like the idea of it right now. But that was kind of cool. So this is during the um, Industrial Revolution. Oh. Oh, get hooked. Yikes. Who the hell are you? I don't know, but we're not going to know who you are in a second. Yikes. Wait. I'll let you say <laughs> That guy was so stupid. Wait. Hold on there. <laughs> and you saw what that man just did. Why would he wait? Come on now. Make it make sense. Try the bitter. Yeah. Who's that? You it's actually know. quite drinkable. Go on, toast your noble boss, this thief of children. Or you could do better. Join me. Join the rooks. <laughs> Join the rooks. So we're not even the assassins, we're the rooks? Why you send out your man like that? Jacob, Mr. Fry, listen. We can split the money. I mean, just take it all. I... <laughs> Rooks with me. Going with the rook. Oh, the people said we're going with the rooks after that. He don't got a squad anymore. Does that say oppression has to end? 
Yeah. That's cool. <gasps> now we're in Egypt. Oh, this is another Assassin's Creed game that I'm really excited to play. I think this is the best setting ever. Ancient Egypt, guys. We got the pharaohs. This is during the Battle of Nile, right? Yeah. Ptolemy. So Ptolemy and Queen Arsinoe. And Queen Arsinoe is the sister of Cleopatra. I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the uh, comment section down below. So that means Julius Caesar also has to be in this game because Julius Caesar and Cleopatra overtake the throne. The pharaohs are so cool, man. They're mummifying. Yep. That's cool. Ooh. I'm excited about this. Oh, look at that. The construction of the pyramids. Oh, there she is, Cleopatra. I'm ready, my lord. Looking beautiful as always. There's the man, the myth, the legend, Julius Caesar. There's a lover in the story, but the story's still the same. There's a level of path of suffering and a paradox to blame. But it's written in the scriptures and it's not some idle claim. You want it darker? We kill the flame. Wait. They're lining up the prisoners. He knew God. something was up, huh? Oh. Whoa. Okay, his attire is so much cooler. His face isn't really covered though, like the other assassins. I mean, I guess it is. He has a sickle. That shield is awesome. Oh, that was a really close shot with a bow and arrow. So we're going to see the fall of the Egyptians, right? In this game. But here's my thing is, where do the assassins play into all of this? Are they just in the middle? Are they not really for Cleopatra and Julius Caesar? Are they not really for uh, Ptolemy and Queen Arsinoe? How does this guy tie in is what I'm saying. That'd be super cool if you end up killing uh, Julius Caesar. That'd be insane. Imagine. Oh, look at that cobra. There's a lot of cool things you could do with ancient Egypt. That's why I was waiting for this. Dude, his eagle ate it. That was his snack. Oh, look at that cat. Jeez. Is this like the, their civilization kind of like fading away? Yeah. Everything just fading. And that's what happened, man. But where do you come in? What role do you play? Sandstorm combat would be kind of would be kind of sweet. Where it all ends, it begins. I like that quote. Oh, wait, is this the same trailer? Okay, we're moving on. 
This is Odyssey. Save us all. If he's sentenced to die. Tell me, Nikolaus. Tell me before you let our son go. Where is this game set? Where we begin. Why the heck you just drop your kid like that? Does not define. Oh. Who we so this is like the uh this is Greece. So this is the Athens and the Spartans. Before you, I see a path. I'm not really interested in this, honestly. I don't really know much about the Athens and Spartans. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, like I don't. By friendship and family. Love and loss. War and bloodshed. Oh, you can 300 kick people though! I mean, maybe you guys can tell me otherwise. Maybe I'm just dumb, but like, is this game good? Like, be honest in the comment section down below. Is it is it good? Is it actually good? Because I'm really not interested in it. I think it's more so the setting. I'm just not interested in the setting. The game might be fire. I might even learn something. I might learn a lot, actually. Oh, this is Valhalla. This is the Vikings. I don't know much about Vikings either. Godless barbarians. This is kind of where Assassin's Creed lost me. Like, I'm not that really. I'm not. I'm not that interested. Unless, unless I can dismember people, then you might have got me. If I can cut people's heads and legs off and stuff. As a Viking? Sounds kind of cool. They scar the lands of England. Lands they will never defend. Never love. Or in England. The time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand. Blood. War. <laughs> yep. That's all the Vikings know, bruh. Is this game good? I feel like the launch for this game was pretty bad. intrigued i'm very intrigued now i changed my mind i changed my mind we're cutting people's heads off if you're gonna have vikings it's gotta be brutal oh my god it's gotta be brutal oh oh no oh he's mad Oh, he's out for blood for real. Look at him covered in blood as he should be. Odin, it's with us. That was Odin just showing up like that. That just boosted morale. Oh, geez. This guy's huge.
Imagine getting stabbed in the leg and looking at it and being like, hmm, I didn't hurt that much. And pulling the sword out. And not even limping, bro. Just going back to fighting like nothing happened. Oh, he had the blade. What is the soul of that was kind of cool. That was a cool trailer. Wait, hold on. Japan? It was an Assassin's Creed in Japan win. I've been wanting one. All right, so we just, they just dropped that bomb on me right now. Okay, so my quick thoughts on Valhalla from what I saw. I, I'm not really interested in like the Viking storyline. I, I mean, I could be wrong. Like I could play that game and, it'll, and it'll end up being fire. It could end up being one of the best games I ever played. Who knows? Um, but I'm just telling you guys how I feel right now. Not that impressed. I did like being able to cut people's heads off and their legs and stuff like that. It's brutal, which is good. It should be. I don't know much about the Vikings. I don't know much about the Athens and the Spartans. That's why I was kind of quiet in those two trailers. But a Japanese Assassin's Creed might be hard to do. After Ghost of Tsushima, bro, you got some big shoes to fill Ubisoft because Ghost of Tsushima, I hear, is amazing. So if that game is that amazing, uh, and from the screenshots that I've seen of Ghost of Tsushima, I haven't seen an Assassin's Creed look like that. Those graphics look amazing. I don't know, Ubisoft. Good luck. Oh, wait, China. We're in ancient China. What? The graphics don't look that good, though. Yeah, what's up with that? It looks pretty. The Great Wall. Check this guy out. I look like a PS2 game. Codename Jade. That's cool. I mean, soon to mo That's how you just killed a hype right there. No wonder why the graphics didn't look that great. Come on, man. Mobile. What were you guys thinking? Come on. That was like when Blizzard announced Diablo Immortals and everybody thought it was the next PC Diablo game. And they were like, oh no, this is the mobile game. Like, come on, bro. Nobody wants the mobile game the world is this a horror game all of a sudden what happened here Assassin's Creed horror what are we dealing with Wait, codename Hex? Doesn't Hex have to deal with like witchcraft? Oh snap, really? We're doing that? Ooh, that one could be interesting. Now you got my attention. Don't tell me that's another mobile game. Peggy 18. That one could be cool, guys. That one has the potential to be really cool. I like it. My son, at Nair's heart. Basim? Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? I am. This is Iraq. We got a Persian Assassin's Creed. Everything you held close. I am. I also like a uh, Persian fashion. It's really beautiful.
Oh, this looks really good. Jeez. Oh, he ain't no real assassin. Ooh, ooh, he got slapped. Oh? Then out of the dark, you will come into the light. Oh, she saved him. That's why he joined the creed. Ooh. This looks good. Now you got my attention. And from the light, you will return to the dark. About to cut his finger off? We haven't seen that. Is that a new thing the Creed's doing? Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Ew. Eagle's back. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. We need to rewind that. We need to, re you, you guys know, you, you agree? Yeah. From the flesh of the I know you agree with me. Hide in plain sight. How you just gonna slap that ball out of my hand? Sit down. Never Ooh. The Got red smoke. This might be the most fire Assassin's Creed game. This is after Valhalla, right? Oh yeah, this is cool. From this wow. Forward, you are a hidden one. Oh, he did the same thing Ezio did. Dodging sand? That's gonna be a good one. There's the feather. Was that Gollum? <laughs> they showed a lot of things from past trailers in that trailer. Like they were they were definitely giving the fans some Easter eggs there, right? Like if you're a true fan, it seems like the game's going back to the roots. And I kind of like that. If they're actually going back to the roots, then I'm all for it. Okay, so this was the last trailer that my moderator told me to check out. This is Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry. We're gonna check it out. See what's up. Oh, so this is after Assassin's Creed 4. Deprived of any right, of any faith. I was sold, traded for labor. Yep. Forced to watch the suffering, treated like a beast of burden. Oh, so is this the guy that was in the Assassin's Creed 4 trailer? The black guy? That was with Edward? With no future ahead of me. I or is this someone else? Him. Completely. And I knew blood would be the price. Looks like him, because he's big. I'm gonna have to say this. The music in this one's gonna be fire. Is that the first black assassin? Was there another black assassin after this one? So we had a Native American assassin and then a black one? Never wanted to. Never had to. Until now. That's cool. Yeah, that's him. That's the big boy. Dear Lord. The animations are given PS2. That was cool. Freedom Cry, the epic add-on adventure from Assassin's Creed 4. I know that music's gonna be fire, bro. If we're 
West Indie music, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be real, real nice. So that was all the trailers, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. That was a lot of games and we have a lot to play here on the channel. We will be playing pretty much all of these games. Like I said, when we get to Valhalla Odyssey, you might see me get a little, uh, a little bored i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but i do like all the ones that i saw other than those two those two are the only like questionable games that like maybe they'll surprise me maybe they'll disappoint me who knows my expectations are kind of low so maybe they won't disappoint me but the other games Assassin's Creed one seems okay i really like the setting for that one Assassin's creed 2 seems awesome and knowing that it has two other games after the, the the first game right after assassin's creed 2 is awesome because we have brotherhood then we have revelations to see how everything happens and then we have assassin's creed 3 we have the native american that's what i'm thinking at least assassin which is kind of cool then we have assassin's creed 4 then we have freedom cry which is the black assassin which is going to be great and assassin's creed 4's gameplay is going to be oh, oh. I heard it's so fun. Assassin's Creed Origins. Origins looks great. Um, I'm so into ancient Egypt. I'm going to be really invested in that game. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this with me. If you're new, hopefully you stick around. I would love to see what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. Try not to spoil me because I actually like reading the comments, believe it or not. Like the comments are fun to read. So try not to spoil down below because I'm going to be playing these games myself. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have an amazing day. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.